Legislator Ziming Zong today held a public hearing as part of a drive to push publicly listed companies to publish details of their employees' compensation. But Zim faced a pushback from business representatives in attendance who said that the forced implementation of transparency measures could create unsustainable wage competition and cut businesses' flexibility when it comes to hiring. In a bid to address the issues of low starting salaries for Taiwan's younger employees as well as the resulting outflow of local talent, KMT lawmaker Zheng Mingzhong has been pushing companies to publish the details of their employees' salaries in the hope of spurring change. If you have to rent a room in metropolitan Taipei and eat on a monthly salary of just above 20,000 NT dollars, would you be able to sustain any connection to broader society? Nobody would give you a shot. Under existing regulations, businesses are required to publish the salary ranges of senior staff at the general manager position and above. But as for details on salaries and benefits, they're only required to disclose a net sum in their annual reports, covering compensation divided among all other employees. Zheng hopes that an increased transparency over salaries could help encourage businesses to raise wages and in turn stem the outflow of talented workers from Taiwan. But business representatives weren't on the same page. Implementing mandatory disclosures of salaries would not only create a serious standoff between workers and management, it would also lead to an unsustainable competition among businesses to hire workers. Business representatives instead suggested that the goal of salary transparency could be listed as one of the Financial Supervisory Commission's corporate responsibility standards to avoid the issue of mandatory compliance.